idea um, maybe why I keep real amps around and I'd like to know sort of what your rationale is if you have real amps if you dip your toe into the modeling world or if you coexist in both I feel like for me maybe the daily driver is the modeling stuff whether it's a Kemper a helix or an HX stomp or whatever and then you know sometimes you want to get out something nice which reminds you of kind of the old times before modeling or whatever, or even if they're modern amps, but you know, it's more of like that special thing playing through a real amp. So, uh, I got a comment yesterday, I think it was, saying, Should I sell all my Mesa Boogie amps? Because I only really seem to use the HX Stomp. So, I think there's a fair point to be made, sort of, there. But obviously, most of what I do on this channel revolves around modeling. So, if you logically think about it, you know, if I do a video with like a, a Mesa Boogie Mark 525, as I will be later on, a few people might see that, you know, there's I don't know how many of those in production or, you know, circulating around the world. A few people might see it, a few people might be interested in getting that amp and think, okay, how does that sound? Once they've got it, they might think, okay, how do I dial in this sort of sound? So, I could do a few things with it, maybe. But 
if I do a video with like a Line 6 Helix or an HX Stomp or a Podgo or an Axfex or an FM3 or whatever else, there's a, like a bigger audience uh, and more people interested in those videos and I think also because of the complexity, you know, if I do a video with um, a Fender Champ, you know, there's three knobs on it, there's a gain, there's a bass and there's a treble. Um, how much are you really going to get out of that? How many videos could I realistically do with that before I was running out of things to talk about? Like with the Helix, I can go through and I can do videos on each of the amps. You know, I can find little tricks and stuff that I've learned over the years. Things that I, I needed to talk about that I've just found. Things that are exciting to me. But also it's its own like little ecosystem which creates stuff for me. So with an amp, I don't have things like a looper which are always there. Or you know some amps don't have reverb like this one and so it leads to like this logical question of do I still need my amps and the answer is sort of no for some of them and that's the reason that I have less amps than I did before and part of the kind of big gear exodus that I've been talking about where um, I've done a few videos saying I sold like anyway the number at the moment is getting dangerously close to the target where um I'll do another video on it, but you know, I've definitely downsized in terms of amps, especially, you know, given that I don't use them all the time on the channel. They're not convenient necessarily to record with all the time, whereas the Helix or the modeling solutions that I use are. And then also live, if I'm doing like an in-ear or a function gig, a lot of the time now sound men don't like you to have much sound on stage at all, if any, um, which is a shame and it's not exactly necessarily super fun. The convenience of having a modeler for that job, I think most kind of gigging musicians now are used to the idea of being able to go direct to a rig, whether that's with something like an HX Stomp and pedal boards, a Kemper, an Axe FX, all these things. But I think still amps are fun to have around. That's the thing that I've always kind of said that if I want to have fun on a gig, I would kind of take an amp. Um, Especially for like little pub gigs and things like that or you know smaller venues where you're not necessarily using the PA for everything You know where you've got a drummer bashing away I think having a real amp in that kind of situation makes a lot of sense So you know like I might do a few jazz gigs or like fusion-y gigs or bluesy gigs And I'd take a real amp for those and maybe a couple of pedals or like the jazz gigs I took them as a Mark III which is unfortunately gone now. That's the thing So I've got a few amps still the Lone Star, the California Tweed, the Electrodyne um, this champ because that's kind of cool but I may get rid of that eventually uh, this actually works quite well as an FRFR type speaker weirdly and I've got my very kind of first proper valve amp but I've got rid of quite a few that you might have seen on the channel just because I'm not using them all the time so can modeling fully replace your amps it's kind of a question for you it depends what you get out of your amps um, things like the Mezzabugi Lone Star at the moment is not necessarily useful for me because it's so heavy um, so I'm going to do something with that as well so I can actually make some use of that live. But the modelling I'm using every single day and uh, when it comes to the kind of recording and that sort of stuff, I think for quite a few years now a lot of people have really been into this modelling idea. Do you still have your amps is the question that I'd ask and if so, why? Plenty of people still love their amps. I know Ben Adrian from Line 6 is an amp kind of guy, you know, he used to work or maybe he still even does works on amps and pedals. The guys at Line 6 are not trying to get rid of amps. I know Cliff must love amps as well if he's uh, modelled 300 of them. It's not necessarily an either-or proposition. I know for some people it might be. But if you've sold all your amps, let me know why. Or, you know, was that successful? Or do you regret it? Or have you kept some amps? And if so, why? Uh, or are you like me, you know, where you've got the modelling which you use day to day. And then you've got amps which are kind of there for fun in some ways, for pleasure in others. And then also if you were to do like a pub or a, a smaller gig, would you take an amp for that? It's kind of like different jobs that they're doing, like the amps are not necessarily what I'd take to like a dodgy wedding. Um, I'd probably take some modelling stuff because I'm going to have to go in ears and compete with a sound guy who suddenly doesn't like the sound of guitar after 60 years of hearing electric guitar through an amp. He's decided, well that's enough, all I want to hear is drums. Anyway, yeah. Catch you a bit.